So uh, that's a lot of really great information, obviously, on how to prep for Q4, but I do want to pivot to planning for 2022 because it's coming up scarily fast as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I'm a brand, my holiday surge is over. I never have that strong of a Q1 post surge. You know, are there strategies that I can use to really capitalize on the success that I saw in Q4 and make sure I can ride that wave into Q1? You know, what are the things to make sure it's not just a complete drop off? Do you guys have any kind of thoughts or ideas as, as our brands are planning for 2022? Yeah. I mean, as a brand, if you're spending, you know, just, just like we've talked about, if you're spending promotional dollars and you're spending ad dollars, um, large investment is in Q4 and you definitely want to make sure you, um, you know, keep that up in Q1. You're not going to be spending the same, you know, the same amount of dollars, but how do you retain those customers? Um, I, I don't know the exact stat, but we've heard over and over again that, um, you know, brand isn't as important as it used to be for, for a consumer. So you really need to ensure that you're, you know, have having continuous touch points with those consumers and increasing that like lifetime value. Um, you know, one other thing that I'll call out is that cost per click has been increasing, not just on Amazon, but on social platforms, search, uh, Google, um, you know, throughout the past 18 months, pretty consistently. So it's definitely something that we consider and we're talking about with our clients. One thing is, you know, you're gathering a lot of data, whether that's on Amazon, whether that's off Amazon, um, and you should be using that data to retarget your, your consumer base. So there's a couple of organic tools where we can actually start doing that on Amazon. One, one tool I'll mention is the customer engagement tool. I don't think very many brands are actually using this tool yet. You actually have to um, have at least 100 followers on your brand store. If anyone didn't, didn't realize it yet, um, you can actually follow brands on Amazon. And that's definitely something that we're seeing Amazon start to invest more, um, invest more time in and, and continuously build up. So pay attention to that. Um, but with that tool right now, you can actually retarget those consumers through um, an email blast. Um, right now, it's, it's in beta, so it's still pretty new. But any new product launch that comes out in 2022, you can retarget any follow -up follower of your store um, through email. So that's one way, free, completely free. Amazon is not charging for this. Um, another way is obviously using sponsored display and DSP to target past purchasers of your products. Um, if, if there's any upsell opportunities in Q1 and not even just in Q1 um, of 2022, but obviously throughout the rest of the year as well. Um, and then if, if it's first party data using that, um, using all of that data to, you know, drive, drive through email blasts internally from your, um, from your own marketing lists. And you can actually create promo codes on Amazon for email marketing purposes. So you kind of just have to look at all of your different tools. And a lot of them, to be honest, are organic tools that are completely free, um, where you can just continuously retarget any consumer that has you know, joined your D2C marketing list and you wanna drive them to Amazon for a new product launch. Um, again, like email marketing now through Amazon, mm -hmm. get as many people to follow your brand store on Amazon as possible. Um, you can do that through social posts, Amazon posts, um, again, completely free and they're continuously updating that. It's becoming more and more obvious that Amazon is investing in real brands on Amazon. Um, yeah. It used to be kind of the wild, wild west. And, and now it's just the more legitimate you are, the more you're going to win on Amazon. And it's not necessarily all paid placements now. So while cost per click is increasing, they're coming up with more and more tools and ways for you to retarget that consumer um, at a lower price point or sometimes completely free. And we've seen, you know, DSP and sponsor display perform incredibly well at a very low cost per click when you're starting to retarget consumers that already know your brand are lower in the funnel. Yeah, that's a really good point. And I think what you said is very true that it's not the answer isn't always just spend more money. There are other strategies or other things that we should be doing, especially as things get a little bit more expensive. Um, 
Okay, well that is just about it for us today. So thank you guys all so much for joining us for our ha Amazon holiday planning webinar. If you do have any follow-up questions on anything we've discussed, please feel free to email marketing at directagents.com and we will see you next time.